What's up guys and dolls, so Code Mode, I'm coming to you with a bit of a special video today. I am doing an unboxing and review of an STL Ocarina. Uh, it's a plastic Zelda base Ocarina. Uh, um, there's a Facebook group called the St. Louis Ocarina Fanatics. It's a little, I believe it's a closed group, it might be a public group, I don't know, on Facebook. And some of us who are Ocarina players have joined the group, and Sarah Finn, who I owe a huge thanks to, sent out five of these plastic Ocarinas, no charge to us, for us to honestly review them. And very excited to open this. I only own one base Ocarina that's comparison, which is the uh, Purple Clay Triple base. So I should have gotten something to cut this open with. I am so smart. Uh, scissors. These are my sewing scissors. I'm a bad person, but you know what? It's for an ocarina, so I'll get over it. If I have to buy a new pair of shears, I will. These are older scissors anyway. It's probably about time for me to either get one of those sharpeners or something like that. Okay, so here we go. One side of the tape is cut, and then we just slide that. They're here. If you hear the noise in the background, my husband's on his uh, nebulizer. Sorry. Mm, okay, let's use the scissors again. That's a good idea. Anyway, I hope you all are having a nice day. Um, I'm having a good hair day, surprisingly. Usually I just straight up mousse it or hair butter, hair butter it. <laughs> oh, cool. All right. Oh, wow. This is nice. So you guys can't see this yet, but there's the little piece of paper that comes with it. It says, thank you for shopping with us. For your free instructional booklet and fingering charge, please visit stlocarina.com slash booklets.html. And there's a little, the pictures of each of the uh, method books. And the other side is the daily exercises written by, I can't remember her name. There's a, a doctor of music who wrote, but, uh, and then they have the Ocarina CDs, which I kind of want the Final Fantasy one, the Ocarina Odyssey. Anyway, to the main event, shall we? The pretty new boxes. The last time I got I myself purchased an Ocarina from STL, it was a cardboard box with the side flaps. So you see the front there, nice blue and white to coincide with the logo's colors. And then the back is the little elementary fingering chart side. It's social media. Other side is a little exciting barcode. So let's open it up. I might even play a few notes here. Oh, this thing is huge. It's beautiful. And of course it comes in the nice wrapping and honestly I'm just throwing it here. Crash. Okay, and I know Chris Gale got a copy of this, a copy of this, what, uh, one of these, and she's a contractor for STL. She's a fantastic Ocarina player. Oh, this is nice. And, um, if you've never watched or heard of Ocarina Diva on YouTube, she's amazing. Oh, this is beautiful. It's got the little silk net cord. For those of you who are into sewing, silk cord that a lot of Ocarina players call the neck strap. This thing is huge. Look at that. And it's got the little Triforce going on in the back. So I'm going to go ahead and take the silk cord off real quick. Because I don't usually, if it's a Soprano, like I have my Denda Soprano G right here. If it's a Soprano, I have my, my Soprano C Echo and my Mini. Oops. <laughs> My uh, mini's right here, and then this is actually my husband's Echo Soprano C that I gave him for his birthday. It's just over here near my sewing machine. But see, those I keep the neck straps on. You can't remove the mini. You can cut it, but that's not worth it. For this one, the base, I'm going to remove the string because I don't use it. Or base offering is too heavy. I mean, since this is plastic, it'll be okay. Just something happens, so I'll use that for something. And I guess we can get right into it. So this is a 12-hole base C. And I've never played a 12 fold base yet. Like I said, I have a purple clay triple. I can't speak today. So let's just go ahead. Oh, there's, it's 11 holes. I beg your pardon. It is 11 hole, not a 12 hole. Thank you. 
initial impression. It has a nice tone on the low end. It was a little bit, I still am struggling with the F a little bit. I got it once decently in that little bit. And this is my very first playthrough, playthrough, playing of it. I can call it that. But um, it's a very nice ocarina. I like the shape. Um, the ergonomics are good. And I'm going to cover this all in my review, so I might even cut this part out. But my initial impression is that the higher notes don't seem to really do it. Close to simple, it's so close to the second finger. So I've got to work on the high notes, and I'm, I'm just barely blowing into it on the high notes, and if I go any stronger... See how like that, how stronger that C, how much stronger that C is, and if I got to immediately drop down and get to the D. A lot of people say when you first get an ocarina, it's not a good idea to review it right away because it's better to play it for a number of months and get a really solid, honest impression of it. But I'm just doing this because I want to at least try to contribute to a good review of this ocarina. So I'm going to cut the video right here. So this is my initial impression. Um, it's, it's a good little ocarina. I'm, I like it so far. I've got some work to do with the high notes. Just hitting that D was a little hard in the little... um. A little song I think it's called the the wandering traveler the lone traveler I'll look it up but uh yeah so I'm gonna cut this right here I'll see you guys in a little bit thanks